your girl Brooke back in again with another YouTube video for you guys today and today I'm going to be reacting to Stranger, Strange, Stranger Things, that is my favorite show by the way, Strange Addictions. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically a TLC, T, TCL, TLC uh, production where they show random people having addictions to something. Like, I could be addicting to sniffing makeup or some stuff like that. So, yeah, and this is why I'm, like, off to the corner. Because also, the light. And, uh, it's gonna be right here. So, let's get on with the so video. I'm just gonna look up the first thing that comes up. Strange. Addictions. Oh, by the way, so when I was little, I watched like maybe like one i think where the girl was eating cow uh couch cushions and i started bawling my eyes out wait was that 10 it was like 9 10 ish and um my mom had to like shut off the tv and like i had to go like think of happy thoughts because i was so afraid of the girl eating couch cushions i don't know why like i was like screaming my head off okay sorry for that annoying talk okay strange addictions number nine if i see something weird fudging uh, something weird i'm going to ice out of it because i can't stand it okay 15 years ago, Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. But it wasn't until she got a new kitten that her unusual bonding ritual turned into a full-blown addiction. Now, two years later, Lisa's so hooked on consuming cat hair that she can't go two hours without a fix. I kind of look at it and make sure it's relatively clean and just cat fur. I'll kind of break it apart and then just put it in my mouth. Of a flavor than even human hair. My name is Lisa. I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm addicted to eating. Cats. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did you just hear that? I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm addicted. To what the? She lives in Detroit, Michigan. I I live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. What the hell? This is one small world. Oh my god. This girl eating cat hair and she lives in Michigan. <laughs> what the frick? I ain't right now. Okay, I'm not gonna judge. I'm gonna try to keep a straight face. I can't. Just chewing it is relaxing. It's a comforting feeling. Her fur is such an interesting texture. It's so soft and puffy and like cotton candy. Some almost. Sometimes they do get stuck in your teeth, but. <laughs> Did she just say cotton candy? Does it really taste like blue raspberry flavoring? Like it's a. Just imagine her sitting on her couch grabbing her cat and like. <laughs> When Justin Bieber got famous, I was so jealous of his good looks. He had this baby face that I don't tell me you're like you're addicted to. Like, damn, that's what I want to look like, you know. He told me right away that that was the impetus for his his new look. Um, but he had never particularly been a Justin Bieber fan, so that was a bit of a surprise. This Toby, I'm 33. And I spent about $100,000 to achieve my perfect Justin Bieber look. Do you know he changes over Some the years? You know that. Cars or fancy mansions. And what I do with my money is I get surgery to look more like Justin Bieber. I had various hair transplants done to get his full bangs and his hairline. I also had filler added under the brows. Skin removed on the upper My mom and pretty much everyone in the family tells me, you need to eat. I tell them that I'm trying to do something about it because I don't want them to know what's going on. She pushes me away if I say anything too much about her weight. 
you know, I just don't want her to take any type of diet pills or anything like that. I just really want to see Kim happy. This is I'm not a... I almost completely isolated myself from everyone. I just want to... This is not an addiction. This is like a eating disorder. Be at home and take my laxatives and be near the bathroom. Well, when I first started taking the laxatives, it would make me extremely sick. Mm. No, no, no. I'm not watching this. This stuff makes me scared. What? I'm not like her ears in the back of her head. Oh god, she face. is licking the cat. No, that cat don't like it. Just freaking nipped at you. <laughs> okay, you have to put in a lot of powder so you don't stick to it. And this is why I do it over the bathtub. So it doesn't make a big What problem. am I watching now? You look amazing. That's why I do this, because I think so too. I just can't believe that that's a 70-year-old man in the mirror. And that's why I do this. Why don't if you I just go trans? If I saw a 70-year-old man in the mirror, I'd quit this tomorrow. That's a... This just blows my hair back. That I can do this. That's me in there. That's, that's one of the things I have to keep telling myself. That's not just a 70-year-old man, that's me inside that female. She's amazing. Okay, let me just get this straight. I understand that you say she when they switch genders, but she, he is putting a doll over his face and saying it's a she. It's it goes through a di transgender people go through a different process than just putting a doll over their face. This I'm trying to be rude, but this is just creepy. It's like reminding me of Annabelle. And the woman putting a doll over her face because she has her face burnt. Not an old man dressing up like a doll and saying how hot he, she, she is. And she's all mine. <laughs> and she's all mine. Is he? A very exciting female. He's attracted to himself. If I were to see a regular woman like this, and uh, she would say, come on, let's hang out. I'd say, okay. I don't get people, especially the person that sniffs Vaseline, like who the frick? Okay, no, nope, I'm done, okay, yeah, so thanks for watching, um, click somewhere on the screen to watch other videos and subscribe to my channel. Peace. Love you guys. Bye.